Greetings students, I am Rajesh Vadas and you are learning satellite communication with me. In this series, today I am going to discuss the new topic with you. Have you subscribed this channel? No? If you have not subscribed this channel yet, then subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the latest notification. So now let's start the topic. In the previous session, we discussed about the advantages and disadvantages of satellite communication. In this session, I am going to discuss about the orbital based satellites. Specially, I will discuss about LEO, MEO and GEO. As we know that the path in which the satellite rotates is known as the orbit of the satellite. On the basis of orbit, satellites are briefly classified as LEO, that is low earth orbit satellites, MEO, that is medium earth orbit satellite, Molniya orbit satellite, high altitude platform satellite and geosynchronous earth orbit satellite. First we will see LEO satellites. LEO stands for low earth orbit satellites. LEO satellites are much closer to the earth than the GEO satellites ranging from 180 km to 2000 km above the earth surface. These satellites are perfect for making observations for military purposes and for collecting the weather data. A LEO satellite's proximity to Earth compared to GEO satellites give it a better signal strength and a less time delay which makes it better for point-to-point -point communication. A LEO satellite's smaller area of convergence is less of a waste of the bandwidth. LEO satellites also have the disadvantage a network of LEO satellite is needed which can be costly in comparison to geo satellites leo satellites have to compensate for doppler shifts caused by their relative movements also to jo aapka leo satellites hain wo aapke kafi earth ke nearby hote hain to aapka jo footprint jo leo satellites ka hoga wo kafi kam hoga footprints means jo coverage area hoga wo kafi kam hoga is wajah se aapko puri earth ko cover karne ke liye ek bahut bada leo satellites ka network ki requirement ho sakti hai jo ki aapki costly ho sakti hai in comparison to जियो सेटेलाइट नियर बाई होने की वजह से जो आपका लियो सेटेलाइट है वो आपका जो ऑर्बिट है ऑर्बिट के अंदर काफी सारे राउंड लगाता है 24 फोर आवर्स में तो आपका जो रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी है बिटवीन दी लियो सेटेलाइट एंड दी अर्थ उसमें काफी डिफरेंस होता है तो आपको जो डॉपलर शिफ्ट जो आपका होगा फ्रिक्वेंसी में जो आपका चेंज होगा बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी तो वो उसके लिए आपको जो रिसीविंग अर्थ स्टेशन है वहां पे आपको कंपनसेशन सर्किटरी जो है वो आपको इंस्टॉल करना पड़ेगा नेक्स्ट डिसएडवांटेज इज एटमोस्फेरिक ड्रैग विच अफेक्ट दी लियो सेटेलाइट कॉजिंग ग्रेजुअल ऑर्बिटल डिटोरियोरेशन नेक्स्ट इज मियो सेटेलाइट मियो स्टैंड फॉर मीडियम अर्थ ऑर्बिट एंड द सेटेलाइट विच आर अवेलेबल इन मियो ऑर्बिट आर नॉन एज मियो सेटेलाइट ए मियो सेटेलाइट इज एन ऑर्बिट बिटवीन फाइव थाउजेंड किलोमीटर टू एटीन थाउजेंड किलोमीटर अबोव द अर्थ सर्फेस आईसीओ एंड इंटरमीडिएट सर्कुलर ऑर्बिट आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मियो सेटेलाइट अब अगर एडवांटेजेस की बात करें मियो सेटेलाइट की तो वी कैन से दैट ए मियो सेटेलाइट इज लॉन्गर ड्यूरेशन ऑफ विजिबिलिटी and wider footprint means fewer satellites are needed in comparison to leo satellites disadvantages ki agar baat kare in comparison to leo satellites to aapka jo yahan pe jo distance hai from the earth surface wo leo ke comparison mein mio ka jo distance hai wo kafi zyada hota hai is wajah se jo aapka delay jo hai signal ka jo delay hai wo aapka yahan pe insert ho sakta hai so we can say that a mio satellite's distance gave it a longer time delay and weaker signal than a leo satellite next is molniya orbital satellite it is an elliptical orbit used by russia for the decades the first molniya satellite was launched in 1964 and now more than 150 have been deployed the satellites remain in nearly fixed position related to earth for 8 hours a series of three molniya satellites can act like a geo satellite means three geo satellites are sufficient to cover the entire earth to agar aap yahan pe molniya satellite se overall earth ko cover karna chaha rahe hain to aapko kitne satellite ki requirement hogi one geo is equivalent to three molniya that means three cross three means nine molniya satellites will be sufficient to cover the entire earth these satellites are useful in near polar regions and high latitude regions which are difficult to cover with geostationary satellites this is the main advantage of the molniya orbital satellites these are synchronized with earth's rotation by making two complete revolutions in each day next is high altitude platform satellites also known as haps to locate the satellite at high altitude platform is one of the newest idea in the satellite communication the located satellite at hap are called high altitude platform satellites it is a blimp or you can say a plane around 20 km above earth surface is used as a satellite hps would have very small coverage area but would have comparatively strong signal and cheaper to put in the position high altitude platform satellites represents the new alternative to the terrestrial and the satellite communication 
One of the key feature of HAPs is easy deployment, which renders HAPs not only for communication applications but beyond of telecommunications like remote sensing, earth monitoring, positioning, navigation, traffic monitoring and control, home security and meteorological controls. Next is geosynchronous earth orbit satellite. Geosynchronous earth orbit satellite is located in geosynchronous earth orbit. The special case of geosynchronous satellite is geostationary satellite which has a geostationary orbit at an altitude of 35,800 km from the surface of the earth. Geostationary orbit has circular shape directly above the earth's equatorial while tundra orbit is highly elliptical geosynchronous orbit. Next is advantages of the geosatellites. A geosatellite's distance from the earth gives it a large coverage area almost a fourth of the earth's surface. Geosatellite have a 24 hour view of a particular area means uh, the relative velocity between the geo satellite and the earth is approximately zero. So the requirement for the Doppler shift compensation at the earth station is very less. These factors make it ideal for satellite broadcast and other multipoint applications. It also have some disadvantages. A geo satellite's distance cause it to have both a comparatively weaker signal which is bad for point to point communication. Geo satellites centered above the equator have difficulty broad in broadcasting the signals near the polar regions due to higher distance it has less spatial resolution now next is the difference between the leo mu and geo satellites first parameter is the satellite height from the earth in case of leo it is 180 to 2000 km in case of mu satellites it is 5000 to 18000 km and in case of geo it is 35800 km next is orbital period leo satellites takes 10 to 40 minutes to complete one round in the orbit while mu satellites takes 2 to 8 hours to complete one round in that orbit and geo satellites takes 24 hours to complete one round in the orbit number of satellites required to cover the whole earth uh, in case of uh, leo satellites you need uh, 40 to 80 satellites to cover the entire earth while in case of mio you need 80 to 20 mio satellites and in case of geo three uh, geo satellites are sufficient to cover the entire earth next is life of the satellite in the orbit leo satellites have shorter life in the orbit mio satellites have longer life in comparison to leo satellites as well as uh, geo satellites ha also have the longer life uh, in the orbit in comparison to leo and the mio next is number of of required in, in case of leo satellites high handoff is required while in case of leo low handoff is required and in case of geo it is very less gateway cost in case of leo is very expensive while in case of mio it is uh, expensive and in case of geo it is cheaper next is propagation loss uh, the leo satellites are near to the earth so we can say that the propagation losses in case of leo satellites are very less and in case of mio it is high and in case of high it is very high so this is all about the types of the satellites on the basis of the height of the orbit from the surface of the earth in the next video we'll see the types of the satellites on the basis of the function that is active satellite and the passive satellites thank you thank you for watching this video